We are joined by Lorna Murphy, Marketing Director for the Pickering Town Center, who is here to talk about a new store, Farm Boy. And Chef Alex Page is here to tantalize your taste buds with locally sourced produce generously provided by Farm Boy. Lorna. Hello. Thank you so much oh. for rushing out here to spend time with us to talk about the newest addition to the Pickering Town Center. Thank you for inviting me. We're really excited with the opening of the Farm Boy store. Yeah. So, um, what would we expect to see when we visit the Farm Boy store? Well, for anyone who hasn't been to a Farm Boy grocery store, it's a really unique experience. It's a beautiful store, so I would advise to come with a little bit of extra time <laughs> because you really want to browse around. And it's fantastic, beautiful produce, lots to see, um, great uh, butcher shop, and uh, so many unique items that you wouldn't find at another grocery store. Well. Um for sure. Um, what what has the reaction been? I mean, this is new to a shopping mall. This almost uh, gives us a new meaning to do the one-stop shop. You, you must experience that. Absolutely. It's, it's a fantastic addition to Pickering Town Center. Um, it's located right on the west wing of the shopping center, uh, close to Moxie's Restaurant. And it's fantastic because, you know, not only can you come and do your shopping for fashion and lots of things for your family, uh, we have great restaurants, but now with the addition of a grocery store, really it is one-stop shopping. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Honestly, um, I wanted to ask, there's a lot of different, uh, f people are of all different types, like they're vegan, gluten-free. Um, yeah, absolutely. There's something for everyone at Farm Boy. So if you're vegetarian, gluten-free, vegan, there's really something for everyone. And uh, the great thing uh, that I love about Farm Boy, and so many people do, is that they have a fresh and ready section. So not only can you shop and get all of your groceries for the week and um, some great specialty items. The fresh and ready section is really unique to Farm Boy. So what they have is a 52 foot long wow. cold salad bar with hot foods as well. A huge selection of soup every day made fresh. Also uh, pizza made to order, sushi fresh uh, made in store, mm -hmm. and also stir fry station. My so gosh. along with a bakery There's and so coffee, uh, fresh made lemonade, so 200 kinds of cheeses, it's really something for everyone. Uh, the great thing too is they have an eat-in area right in store. That's great. And we are going to be using some of the, this produce. Uh, Chef Alex is cr uh, preparing some of it right now. But before we get to that, I want to talk about a giveaway that we have. Yes. So we have giveaways. Um, all you have to do is email us at daytimedurham at rci.rogers.com and put Farm Boy Prize Giveaway in the subject line and tell us which one you want to win. It's that simple. Yeah, we've got a great gift basket from Farm Boy mm -hmm. with a huge selection there of all their specialty it. items. It's great. And uh, a gift card from Pickering Town Center, a $100 gift card. Well, that's great. Lorna, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to travel over to Chef Alex Page there, who is right. cutting away to see how we can, uh, what dishes we're going to make. Hey. Hi, Chef <laughs> Alex. How, how are, are you? you doing? Good. Good. So what I wanted to feature from Farm Boy, I like shopping there because of the produce that you can get. So it's not stuff that you're going to find in every grocery store, do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Great variety. Uh, you have these beautiful rainbow sort of heirloom carrots mm -hmm. that they always have. I can't find them anywhere else. I can't either. No, so they're a great thing to have, so we're going to be working with those. We have some golden beets as well that they carry. They also have candy cane beets, red beets. And I know some people go, oh, what's the difference between all these? Well, I was going to ask that. What's the difference between a candy cane beet and a red beet? They taste the same. They just look pretty. Okay. <laughs> I like the pretty. <laughs> you want to come on this Yeah, side? sure. So what I'm going to do, first thing, we're making all Thanksgiving side, side dishes. Yep. So everyone knows how, I mean, they should know how to make their turkey. Well. But, I mean, the side dishes don't get as much love, right? So That's true. And if you make really good side dishes, you're going to have a good Thanksgiving dinner. So we're making three different types of side dishes. So the first one, we have some roasted beets, and I'm making a topping for it. So all I've done here, I'm what? just taking Are those pistachios? pistachios? Yep. And you pr people wouldn't think to add pistachios either into anything, more or less. Yeah. That's where you get that, that that's where you're putting the love into your dishes. And you're right, absolutely right. When we're doing, when we're cooking our, our turkey, we're just, we're thinking about the turkey and nothing else. But you should be adding pretty. I'm a firm believer of, of putting a lot more into the side dishes because we've tasted turkey. How many different ways can you make turkey? Exactly. But you always just boil the carrots and add butter. Exactly. It's not the and best then, thing to do. No, you need the, the no. love to go to the veg. 
ribs, right? Yes. And if you make that, everyone's going to love your Thanksgiving dinner. Besides, how many more vitamins are you getting in that veg? Exactly. So we have these roasted beets here. We have the gold and the red. So I'm just drizzling with olive oil. And then a little bit of balsamic, uh, white balsamic. White. It's nice and sweet. That is a different taste to the dark balsamic. Yeah, completely. I think I would prefer the white. Okay, so we'll plate this after. And then uh, what I'm making on top here is just a gremolata. So gremolata is just freshly chopped parsley. Thank you for telling me that because I didn't have time to research it. And I thought, what is gremolata? It's parsley, uh, garlic, and traditionally lemon, but we're going to use grapefruit. So once we have that in there, we're just going to grate in a little bit of garlic. All favorite things of mine. Alex, you had to pick all This just all the brightens up a dish. So when you have something that... You're going to keep on um, chopping and doing all of this gramolata and stick around because we have more Thanksgiving dishes when we return. This is... Welcome back. I love Thanksgiving because it is our first fall holiday that celebrates the harvest of root vegetables and fattened turkeys. Yes. So we're, uh, we're cooking up some veg to show you how you can cook them for Thanksgiving right here. So what I've Plus done. some sausage. Yeah, so the beet oh. salad is here. Um, and the gramolata. Yeah, and we put the gramolata with the pistachios. This looks beautiful, right? It looks beautiful. And all we did, we just roasted those for, you know, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. cover them in foil, prick them. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Top them with that nice gremolata. You got the garlic, the pistachio, the parsley. So now we're going to work on stuffing for a squash. Perfect. This is a great way to uh It's the only way. Sausage, I do it that it. way too. Yeah, for a filling yes. or to make quick meatballs or yeah. anything. Squeeze them right out of the filling. Sure. For... This is not uncommon to me. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess all you people think, oh, she never, no, this is how I do it at home. This is good home. This is what I, my mom taught me. Beautiful. Because it's also the, probably the best way. You're getting the best flavor in these because, you know, I mean, the other stuff wouldn't be the same. Just don't. Oh, so you take this nice this fresh sausage, stuff. you squeeze it right out into the pan, and you just cook it off. And then what I've done, I've roasted. It I, smells so good. It's chorizo? Is chorizo, that how you say yeah, it? chorizo okay. sausage. We have an acorn squash here, or a pepper squash, they call them as well. And I've just cut it off. If you can look on the bottom here. I've just cut a little spot so it'll sit up straight. That's great advice. Okay. And then it doesn't topple over. Yeah. So then you just cook this. And that's your serving bowl? Yeah. Well, Perfect. you're going to stuff it. Nice. So that's going to go right on there. I love that. And I love it when you use gour gourds like that. It's like a gourd, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Squash, yeah. Nice. So then what you're going to do, we're going to stuff that with uh, chorizo and pecans and blue cheese. And then our other side dish here, we have these beautiful, like I said, these rainbow carrots. So what we're doing with the rainbow carrots, I've just halved them, roasted them again, 400, about 20 minutes, and I've tossed them with a little bit of orange juice and maple syrup. You have to look at the color on this plate. That's yeah. what we mean by it's loving fall harvest, your... It's right? fall harvest. And You have I mean, to use these vegetables. It's going to make you so, smile. And what I love about Farm Boy, they give you all this beautiful... Um, they save the tops to all the carrots, right? Which is great, yeah. And you can, you can use these. I mean, smell. Oh, yeah. Honestly, eat a little. Eat a little piece. It's good. They have a nice pesto. Of, okay. So then what we've made, we've made a pesto with it with roasted almonds. Three minutes. Yes. So, pesto. Yeah. So we're just going to drizzle this carrot top pesto with roasted almonds. This is, this is getting close to the chef. This is like if you had your chef, <laughs> if, if you had chef Alex Page come really into your house, it's intimate Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> That's okay. okay. And then if you have uh, goat cheese, you put a little goat cheese on there. Or if you have like a hard goat cheese or a Parmesan. Yeah. You can grate that on there. And again, go for the fresh. Go for well, the fresh bricks. Farm Boy's great too because when you go there, they sample all their cheese. So you can sort of... I never get out you can, there. You can, linger, you can linger around. You try to, you know, be discreet about how many samples. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't have that one. Oh, no. But yeah, they'll let you take try your, their cheese and everything. Take your lactate, so your lactate pill, and then just <laughs> make sure you get all of that in there because this is so good. If you could smell this, because they haven't made a smell-o-vision button yet on television, <laughs> it is really, really 
good. It's spicy. It's a great smell. I can't. It's it's going to be great for your stuffing for sure. So the chorizo, again, this you could use this in um in stuffing too. Well, like you for could your use bird. pork too. You could do whatever, whatever this is pork, they have yeah, there. Yeah, the chorizo, and so that's looking almost done there. Okay. And then we have our pecans. Yeah. And then we're going to put some blue cheese as well. What do I do? Do I put it in there? Let me see. Okay. So you're just going to put our chorizo right into our squash there. Wow. That is great. Okay. Oops. Okay. We won't touch that. Yeah. And then great. we're putting some pecans. If I can get some on the actual dish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to take uh, some really nice blue cheese. It's mm. interesting that you pick blue cheese. Oh, I love blue cheese. Well, though. yes. Uh, you but don't like it, do you? No, I like it, but it's it's not for all because it's a strong flavor, right? You but know I your think family, you, though, right? Like, if yeah. your family doesn't like blue cheese, use goat cheese or whatever. Whatever cheese. You know, cheese whatever is, would work for you. Yeah, but so crumbly, then, I guess, right? Works yeah, best. so it crumbles. And then what I would do, I would just take this and then put this back in the oven you know, probably for 10 minutes just to heat everything up together. And then you can sprinkle some sage or, I mean, anything really. Well, we are have. at the end of our Thanksgiving here. We've got 30 seconds, and I'm going to say big thank you to Chef Alex Page for making the perfect Thanksgiving dish. If you want to try these dishes, you can get these vegetables and a whole lot more at Farm Boy. Up next, Brock Street Brewing Company. This is amazing. I mean